Oh boy. Is this real? What is the ever loving heck is this? Oh, this is the game that KFC made. Uh, yes. I don't know what to expect. So <laughs> why not? I haven't played this game yet either. Um, why not? Actually, no. Let's be. Let's be. This is. This is. This is. We gotta impress Colonel Sanders, right? So I gotta use like my actual name. Still. I remember truck. <laughs> Oh, this is one of those reading games. Oh boy. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack the clock or throw the clock out the window. Yes. He slept in the school year and gave up on the all once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. So, I told you this game is great. Yeah, John was telling me about this. Lauren, how can you know what cringe is when you are the cringe? Oh. Laying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? Who will you cook? Wait, oh, what will you cook? Not who will you cook? <laughs> what should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously or you allow yourself to daydream a bit thinking about the I don't know, it's daydream, that would be me. It's here, finally, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in her Mmm, delicious. Just what you need to wake up for those taste buds. Yikes, you're in such a- Oh, it's the biscuit from KFC. I'm just not realizing. <laughs> Great product placement. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend. Oh boy, she's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you're absolutely... Good morning, Ethan. Are you excited for your first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. Standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together, and you rescued me from that quick sandbox, it's been clear to me that you're not... That you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna be great. <laughs> but with the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning... <laughs> Why every time they say the cooking school, they always go for this really long name every single time. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower? And the other card featuring a handsome fellow in a red suit. I waited so long to meet a handsome fellow. Oh, she's crying. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Your arch rival. She's totally evil. You know, you can't help but go with jealousy. <laughs> she can get everything she wants and she knows it. Bruh. She's mean. I didn't see her there. <laughs> Bruh. Chicken, really? Leave Ethan, leave Ethan's shins alone. <laughs> They're perfectly normal shins. <laughs> Across the quad, you see Ash Lane's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. Bruh, what are these names? <laughs> Stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. Pants is so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes <laughs> while he styles his hair. Oh wow, that is a handsome man. All right, I oh I was not prepared. Okay, I didn't even read what he said. Okay, <laughs> you've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more deep. <laughs> I can't I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you attend this school. Join the commentary. Ah, huh? it's WarioWare. <laughs> Actually, though, if WarioWare was anime, yes. Let's go, Maria. See you later, losers. Oh boy, we got Kawaii Boy here. What's with these sound effects? As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window. Door. Shut up, sound effect. I get it. Oh, gosh, my name is Pop. He looks like not a pop. Hi, Papa, I'm Ethan, so 
Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? Will shrug his shoulders for following him. Finally, we're in the building. Oh my goodness, that was so long. He stands at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves shit chatting. Aw, it's a corgi. Aw, he's so cute. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Oof. I'm chilly. Someone closed the window. And then, he walks. Oh, it's him. I'm so nervous. Is that really him? What? I think I'm blushing. It's the Colonel. <laughs> He's so magical. <laughs> to my eyes to see me. Oh, his God. flowing white hair. His cute bow tie. His sleek glasses. <laughs> Lord says I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I was already doing that. <laughs> You're immediately swept off of the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Yeah, exactly. See, even the classroom agrees with me. He is a handsome, attractive man, all right? And over here must be sweaty sweat spot. Maybe we should open this window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all of your really weird insults? Besides, Ethan's sweat is not gross. It's beautiful. Look at it. Why? Why? Boy, howdy. This cla classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Please, use my handkerchief. <gasps> oh, Colonel. You didn't have to do that. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets his moment? Todd's kid taking the handkerchief. Stretch out your hand as Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> you hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. <laughs> it has this natural scent on it. So it's like the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Oh my gosh. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and sets some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. I love that name. The greatest culinary academy in the world. Can you just take a moment and appreciate the background music? You know, I didn't even notice the music. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. It's cool. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss QUIET! Music should have cut there, but it's fine. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on a fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Let that be a lesson to you, students. That tardiness is unex UNACCEPTABLE! Sorry, I can't do the lemon grab. Hey, It's a robot. Class bursts into laughter. Aww, he's so cute. He's like so innocent and so quirky and dorky all at the same time. It's kind of cute, but but tough as well. No, okay, whatever. Decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? Beef treat, rubber ball, chicken snack. Chicken snack. Reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes got wide as he locks as he locks onto it. His favorite, hot. See, chicken snacks for the win. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for our new star student. She, settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. Hey, Ethan, there's still a seat here. It seems no one has claimed the seat next to me. If you're interested. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit by Colonel Sanders. That's why I'm here. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me. Ha, <laughs> got him. If train A is traveling to point B, and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Bruh. 
Eh, it doesn't matter. That's wrong. Yeah. What? Uh, forest is to tree as chicken is to night vision goggles. That's wrong. What? Okay. What's the most efficient eating utensil ever created? Uh, a meat tenderizer. That's wrong. What? Um, what food is, is best for a broken heart? Um, uh, anything as long as it's prepared with love and too much salt. Camel meat. A pancake that looks like a silly face. Uh, the camel meat. That's wrong. What? Oh, okay. Um, Sprinkle's a good boy. Uh, he's talking to, uh, uh, he's a talking dog at teaches culinary school. He's the best boy. Uh, no. That's wrong. He's nothing but the best. Oh, no. Shoot. Oh, oh, it's zero out of five. Oh, no. If you can't stand the heat, stay out of the dating simulator. Oh.